Welcome back. It was a sad day in Chicago Monday night for the Bulls as the visiting Golden State Warriors came to town. The Bulls defense was nearly non-existent, which helped the Warriors score 92 points in the first half alone. Yes, I said that right, 92 points in the first half. Klay Thompson was the man of the evening. In his 27 minutes on the court, he recorded 52 points with 14 three-pointers and set Golden State's franchise record and tied an NBA record with 10 threes in the first half. The Bulls are back against the Nuggets tonight at 7 at the UC, and let's hope we see a little better of a show up by the home team. On this past week's Monday Night Football, we saw the New England Patriots visit the, the, the Buffalo Bills. This was Tom Brady's 29th win against Buffalo, making the Bills season 2 and 6. Rob Gronkowski also returned the field after sitting during week 7 due to alleged back spasms. The final score was 25 to 6 with the Pats winning. Next week's MNF matchup, the Tennessee Titans will travel to Dallas to take on the Cowboys at 7.15 Central Time on ESPN. And now we switch gears to the Chicago Bears, but specifically let's look at injuries. A year ago on Monday, tight end Zach Miller horrifically blew out his left knee, which turned into almost losing his entire leg. He spoke to the media on Monday, saying he is very happy with the recovery process and is proud of his progress. And some more heartbreaking news for the Bears, starting guard Kyle Long is out with a right foot injury. Still awaiting long status, head coach Matt Nagy spoke to the media, saying they should know more later this week on his prognosis. Last night was senior night for the Lewis University women's volleyball team. In their final home match of the season in the Neil Carey Arena, they, they defeated the University of Indianapolis. This was the Flyers' second matchup against the Greyhounds after losing to them in five sets early this season. Senior Elizabeth, senior Elizabeth Highland recorded 18 kills and two aces, and Caroline Stefanon had 11 kills on the night. The squad will conclude their regular season Friday in a GLVC matchup at Quincy University. And Lewis basketball is back. The men's traveled to Illinois State University to take on the Redbirds. Despite dropping 80 to 58, senior floor forward Delaney Blaylock led the team with 15 points. The team will open their regular season November 10th at Michigan Tech. And the women also traveled to South Bend to square up against top-ranked defending national champs Notre Dame. The Irish came out on top 105 to 65, but senior Jessica Kelleher had 17 points on the evening as the leading scorer. The Flyers will travel north to Evanston, Illinois to take on the Northwestern Wildcats in an exhibition game at 2 p.m. this Saturday. Um, I'm really hoping that the Bulls could bounce back from that because that was, it was a lot, but I think... It was a lot and it was very, very sad. I mean, there was a very. lot of hype coming in with this year's mm -hmm. team. You know, you were hoping there was going to be a lot more defensive, you know, show up by Jabari Parker, but obviously... Definitely. And with the post game conference, like they weren't even happy with it. I mean, I they know. were just dead. Um, so we're really hoping that they can actually show up tonight. So let's yeah. see. <laughs> I think they might get something a little bit better, hopefully. But fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. <laughs>